Hey yo guys, Shepard Speed back here with another video. So today, let's do it guys. Let's spend 4,000 material. Let's go. So today, I was thinking, oh not boosters, not boosters. I don't need none of these new mons. I want some of these old mons. Um, so I was, I asked in the last video, in yesterday's video, what I should spend my material on, and the overwhelming answer was most definitely Sceptile, and honestly, I was debating between Moltres or Sceptile, even Suicune, you know, there's a lot of good Pokemon in here, but I think Sceptile really fits, and I'll give you a few reasons why. So first of all, he's really good. If you look at his attack, he's hitting a 90 Leaf Blade, and if he hits it again, he's doing a whopping 140 damage. Uh, not to mention, I love that blue stealth hit. This Pokemon can jump over its battle opponent and land one step away. Um, he doesn't have any abilities, but he's overall just really, really good. And I was debating between uh, him and Moltres, because Moltres does have that whopping 110 Crushing Flames. But, you know, I have two Zapdos. I don't really have room on my team for a Moltres. You know, in my personal opinion, he's really good, but I like my Zapdos. So, we are going to spend it, guys. The only other thing that I was really, really debating on was saving it for Russian Zek. But, honestly, I kind of want Sceptile. So, we're going to go ahead and do it, guys. I'm going to do it. Trade. Now, obviously, this might not be the right deal for you guys. This might not be the best figure for you guys to get. But in my current team, I really want Sceptile, not to mention the fact that he is my favorite third gen starter, so it's a little like, you know, I'm a little biased. But we have acquired the Sceptile, so I can't believe I just spent all my material. Man, that took so long to get. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to um, put him in the team, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we are back, and this is my powerhouse of a team. So, these just include some of my favorite Pokemon in the game, and this is what we're going to be testing Sceptile with. Uh, so we have, obviously, the king and queen of this deck, uh, Zapdos and Virizion. We have, uh, let's say, our Pawn Joltik. Um, Mew is most definitely, he acts as, like, my my bishop, kind of, you know, like, if, if we're equating this to chess terms... Terrakion is really great, he's so strong, and Sceptile, I'm really glad, I did boost up uh, the stealth hit, so he is level 4 right now, I did put him up to level 4, and he does have the stealth hit, so we are going to jump into some matches here guys, and see if this Sceptile was worth our 4k. Let's go ahead and see what we can do, and don't forget, if you're new to the channel guys, subscribe, like the video, help your boy out, because I'm dropping Pokemon Duel videos on the daily. So let's go ahead and get into a duel. I'm really excited. Uh, everyone, the overwhelming response was Sceptile. I think he is definitely the best Pokemon that I don't have um, in terms of j just how good he is. And like I said, I really wanted to pull him in the banner, but I actually ended up pulling Virizion, and Virizion has been wonderful for me. But let's see what we got here. So Benji, my boy Benji's got a two. I see. I saw two Deoxys. Did I see Zapdos? I did see Zapdos, a Heatran. And a Whimsicott, a Groval. So let's go ahead and just start with our Joltik. Um, our Joltik will be a defensive Joltik. His Grovile is evolving, and that does raise the question. Do I have the uh, the Grovile into the Sceptile, or do I just run the Sceptile? I think, depending, depend, excuse me guys, depending on how good he is, I will change that um, and see what we kind of want to do. Now we're going to put Mew here, just so we can put another Pokemon on the board. Um, he will threaten the hurdle jump. He's actually going to attack, and we are going to get the shuttle flip. So, with the shuttle flip, I think that I am actually going to go onto the goal so that he can't hurdle jump me next turn, and I don't have to move Joltik. Um, and now, we, why don't we just run up here with a Sceptile? I'm not going to attack him. I don't really want to risk the attack, um, just in case I hit the 30 quick attack. Um, but we can see if we can stealth hit over something. That Deoxys, we could easily stealth hit over. So, let's go ahead and just set our Virizion here. And if he's not careful, next turn I will surround the speed Deoxys. But I'm assuming, there it is, he is going to take the entry point. Which is fine by me, because now I can push up with Virizion. Um, the thing is, like, I really think that Sceptile will balance my team out. Because that, that sixth member, like, Mew, Joltik, Sceptile, Virizion, like, the only two that I was really, like, struggling with was, um, the Sceptile spot and the Terrakion spot. Terrakion could be changed out, but Sceptile, I think he's gonna make a, a stand here to stay in the deck, so 
He is going to spin. He's not going to spin again. Uh, that would be silly. But because of that, why don't we just threaten the game, guys? Uh, let's see. What Does he have a hurdle? He does have a hurdle jump. But I could soar. I could jump over. So if I put Verizian right there. Actually, I still have a hurdle jump of my own. So actually, I'm just going to put um, Verizian right here. He can challenge me with whoever he wants. But he cannot goal block. So he will have to knock out Verizian in order to win. Um, this could be a great start to the episode, honestly. There's the X attack. If I get the Typhoon, I'm golden. Um, if not, I will hurdle jump for the win. So let's see what we get here. And what? No way. Sceptile's blessed Verizian already. They're working. So here's the thing. And this is one of the reasons why I like Sceptile. Is because I put him up there. And of course, he challenges with the Deoxys A. His strongest Pokemon. And that gives my Verizian the chance to move up. So... That actually worked out pretty well. I know that Sceptile didn't do anything, but I just think his presence on the board is something that you can't ignore. So, let's go ahead and get into another match here. Um, you know, when I'm picking who I'm going to battle against, I definitely wait and see um, who they're going to put up. And it's always, you know, a match for match. And I think that Sceptile could be a good uh, diversion. So... We're coming up against SD1594, a long name there, but he does have a Verizian of his own. He does have a Grovile into a Sceptile. I did see a Mew. I think I saw a Lucario, which is a little interesting. Um, a Darkrai and a Deoxys attack form. So, against this man, I think that this man does have threats. This man does have threats. That Grovile is scary. The Deoxys is scary. I think that Sceptile is definitely my answer to Deoxys, um, because Terrakion's not strong enough, and so he's actually going to go defensive. Well, why don't we just follow suit? Uh, we put our Joltik down, which does give us the chain level, which we might need. Uh, holy, what? 74? That's a lot. Um, against this Pharisian, I am going to counter with my Zapdos. Uh, because I am, I do have the 101 and Joltik is on the field, which means I would knock him out um, with a crash against any one of his moves. So, against Lucario, why don't we send up, why don't we send for, well, you know what, let's go for Sceptile. Let's put for Sceptile. Now, I know that I, I, I did want to save Sceptile for the Deoxys A, but... The Lucario is a little tricky, and I think that I maybe could hit gold on purple, so we'll go ahead and go for that. And against this uh, Darkrai, I am just going to go for the Terrakion. Now, obviously, he does have a great chance to hit purple. Um, and uh, you know what? Actually, that was probably a, that was probably a mistake there, because he does have a great chance to hit purple. Against this Deoxys, I will definitely challenge with my Mew. And now I think that I put Verizian on the board and start making some moves with him. So, do I think that I could double chance this Lucario? I think I could, honestly. I think I could. He's going to double chance the... Oh, so we were thinking the same thing, guys. He thinks that he can double chance my Sceptile. And I am going to get the Stealth hit. So, that's that's uh, Sceptile's first spin of the game. And actually, that's going to net me a surround kill. Because unless he gets the blue, which he didn't get... So, I will stealth hit over, of course. Now, actually, does he have a hurdle jump? He does. He, and he has a goal block. Let's just take the surround on, um, on Lucario. Because that was a free surround with the stealth hit. Already paying off. Man, Sceptile, I'm already liking him. So, I really feel like this will be a good investment. The two Pokemon that I've spent material on... Um, I might have spent some on Shuppet early game, but the two 4,000s that I've spent... Oh my god, stealth hit again! So he did get the slip, but he can make me respin. He's not going to make me respin, surely. Nope. So we don't want to go anywhere. We're going to end our turn. But I do think that... Why don't we... Let's see. What to do here, guys? What to do here? You know what? I'm going to double chance. I want this Verizian out of the game. I'm not worried about Sceptile right now, so I think that he can hold his own. But this Verizian is honestly one of the most troubling Pokemon. So let's see if we can double chance this. He did get the 101, so we need to spin again. We need to hit Crash right now. And we got Roost. Ah, that's unfortunate. So that's unfortunate. But we'll take it on the chin, guys. Zapdos is going to get the two weight. 
And let's see what this man, let's see what SD is thinking. I think that he puts Grovile on uh, uh, next to, like right around here. But he might go really offensive, so I'm not, I'm not sure what he's thinking right now. He's going to hurdle jump me. Okay, he's, he just hurdle jumped me. So my options right now are to either try and knock out this Verizian, or you know what? Actually, I have an idea now. Let us go ahead and put Septile right here, forcing him to go defensive, and that way my Zapdos can move next turn. And obviously I need to be careful because... He could go really offensive here. He is going to gold block with Darkrai. No, with Deoxys A. Okay. Um, I will take this opportunity to jump over Verizian. That way I have a little bit more of a protection because I have found that I'm losing games sometimes because I go too aggressive. So why don't we go ahead and take this? Is, is his Mew chained? His Mew is not chained. And we have Joltik on the field, which means that my Mew would beat his. Um, at this point, I'm assuming I'm going to see a Grovile come out. That's what I'm assuming. No. Oh, shoot. Okay. That was my mistake, guys. Not going to lie. I did not see the surround. Not going to lie, guys. I didn't see, I didn't see the surround. Um, at this point, he could get very close to the goal, but I will defend. Is he going to attack? Okay. This is a little risky, but he did get the Dark Leap. So he is going to be able to jump over me, but he will gain weight. So I think we take this opportunity to now pull up with Verizian and see if we can get a surround on Mew. Thankfully, I think that Sceptile and, um, and Mew could survive a few turns. So why don't we go ahead and just put him there. If I were him, he could either X-Attack or something with his Mew and try to knock mine out. Or he could go... That's, or, yeah, he could do that. That's what I was thinking. Um, forcing me to be defensive. Which I will just plop Zapdos onto the uh, the goal here. And hopefully I don't need more than, you know, Zapdos to defend. I hope that he can survive. And right now I'm thinking I go for the surround on Mew and then threaten the game. Okay, he's not going to let me. I see you. I see you. Uh, why don't we... What do we do here? What do we do here? Do we try and knock out? I'm not sure what to do. Gold on purple is too high. I could get purple. Let's just set our Verizian right here. I'm honestly, I'm debating on what the best strategy is right now. Um, I definitely don't want to be too offensive because I just kind of want to make him make decisions. And we are going to get the knockout. We got the 141 Leaf Blade on Darkrai, and that's really going to put us in a great position because now... You know what? Let's make him do it again. Let's make him move somebody. Let's just put Verizian over here. Let's make this man move somebody. And Sceptile is definitely coming in clutch. He's already done two great rolls. And this, come on, Sceptile, I need the stealth hit. Oh my god, Sceptile got the stealth hit. You're joking me. Now, he could make me respin, but I could hit stealth hit again, or I could hit the 140 leaf blade. And, oh uh, no. So, okay. I will admit that I don't, I can't really blame Sceptile for that, because he was in a, he survived. You know, he hit stealth hit. You know, but because of Deoxys' respin ability, he did get knocked out, and at this point in time, we really have to make a decision what we're going to do. So, I think that... Okay, here's what we're doing, guys. We don't need the X attack, because... Let me see what plates he's used. Alright, that's what we're doing. We're going to see what plates he's used. I don't need the double... Oh, he's used so many plates... You know what, guys? Let's just do it right now. If I knock out this Mew, then I would get... Oh my god, I did it! Okay, so now that we've knocked out Mew, he has to go on the goal, he has to attack Mew with the Oxus, and he can either get knocked out or he could get slipped for the win. And so let's see what, we... let's see what happens. You know, Mew... Mew can come in clutch, right, guys? Come on, Mew. Do me a solid. I know I wasted so much time with that. He's actually going to go for the attack with Grovile. 
And we are going to hit the hypersonic, but it's not going to get knocked out because it's too high of damage. And we will take the victory with the Mew. So, okay, the team's working out pretty well. I will admit, now the Tracheon Surround was a misplay, and I know that I, I wasted a lot of time in that game, guys, but this team, I'm, I'm actually really liking it right now. Sceptile could have been the missing piece. He looks really cool, too. So let's play one more match, guys. One more match, and let's see if we can get a nice victory um, and to make it three straight. So this is the all the duel I've played today, so I'm doing, I might actually just continue the run. Maybe see if I can get my rating up a little bit if this goes well. But uh, we were we are playing Mad Dog. So Mad Dog. So I see a def uh, Deoxys Defense. Um, he definitely has the level five Rayquaza. I saw Darkrai. I think I saw Verizian and Sceptile and a Cobalion. Okay, so Cobalion is the sneaky one because my uh, my Zapdos cannot knock him out because of the well. Okay, he c no actually he can't. Because my 50 is too weak, unless I X attacked or something. Um, against this Sceptile, I think I'm going to have to go on the straight damage of Terrakion. And hope that he could knock him out with just one Leaf Blade or the Quick Attack. Oh my gosh, you're going to attack him? That's pretty risky, my friend. Your, your whole... Hey, we're going to get the knockout. That was really risky, if I'm being honest. Um, so now, why don't we push up Terrakion... Kind of forcing him to be a little defensive. He does have two 1 MP pokes. So, and he's going to start with Rayquaza. Dude, what? And he is going to get fly. So, he didn't knock me out. But he is going to fly all the way over there. But thankfully, um, thankfully he only has 1 MP. So, right now we threaten the game. And he is going to come out with a dark cry. Come on, just hit the 70. Hit the 70. I believe in you. And he hit the Dark Leap, which isn't going to be enough, because it only puts him two steps away, which means that I will Hurdle Jump for the victory. No way. No freaking way. How is this happening? Luck has the, Our luck has changed, guys. This is the third straight victory. And that one, honestly, he went so aggressive, which... I mean, I've, I've read so many comments that say that Sceptile loses to Terrakion, so I'm surprised that he went for that. Um, but we did get the win, guys, and with that, let's see what our time's at. 15 minutes, you know what, guys? Let's play one more. Let's play one more match and see if we can get to 2,800. We only need 13 points, so if we play a member that's, you know, 29 or 3, 3K and we beat them, we could get it. So let's see what we got here. God, this team is working so well. Terrakion actually showed up. He showed up to play. Mew's doing well. Sceptile definitely is doing well. I mean, he had really good, great roles uh, up until that Deoxys respin. So, we are coming up against Sidon, 2388 ranked player. Uh, Sceptile, I see Rayquaza, Greninja, Lucario, an Agron, and a Zapdos. So, definitely mad, mad threats this man has got. His <laughs> Jesus, your Greninja's four chained? You chained him four times? I mean, then again, I changed my uh, my Rayquaza a few times, so I didn't I didn't know it was my turn. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set Joltik down. The typical play here, and I think that we might be able to take advantage of the fact that he has two one MP pokes. So there comes a Greninja, and honestly, I think the best counter to this Greninja is Sceptile. So let's just throw Sceptile out here. Um, I don't think he's gonna take the entry point with a hurdle jump. But I have seen many of players do it before, so... Uh, is he going to pull that hurdle jump? He is going to pull that hurdle jump. That play is kind of annoying, just because it happens so often. And I'm actually going to be defensive with Sceptile. Because if I put Joltik uh, on the goal, then I could very well see him X-attacking or something. Does he even have an X-attack? No, he does have counter-attack. Okay, got to be careful about that one. Um, why don't we set the Mew to challenge? Or you know what? Trakion would be pretty. Trakion would be a decent challenge. I was gonna say Mew because he wouldn't be able to knock uh, him out if I hit Hypersonic on the crash. But we'll just go ahead and put Trakion there. And now I think that I want Mew down this lane. Like I said, we kind of need to take advantage of the fact that he has two 1 MP pokes. So. 
Territorial is a problem. Actually, I didn't think about that. Um, no, sorry about that. Sorry about both of those notifications. So, Sidon, let's see what he's thinking. He's going to put down the Lucario. I think at this point, I do want to jump over the Terrakion. I don't really want to take a Sceptile attack, but I might have to. So, let's go ahead and put Joltik on the goal. And then I'm going to back him up with a Zapdos. And then I think I try and knock out the Greninja first. Nope, he's going to attack me. He is going to attack Virizion. If I get the, uh, oh my god, I got Typhoon. Does that mean I can surround him? He is going to get surrounded. Oh man, that Sceptile is gone. So that was a really nice uh, RNG play for us. We will push up with the Verizian since he only has the Rayquaza. He will attack. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, he's going to get knocked out. The, the RNG is mad right now. The RNG is mad. Why don't we... I don't want... Okay, does, let, me check, let me just double check. He has gold block, so he can gold block with whoever he wants. But I would much rather take an attack off of Lucario. So I'm actually going to put Verizian here, because that way Zapdos can't reach me. So if he wants to gold block, he's more than he can do so. Um, but I don't want to... If he doesn't want to gold block, just take the attack. So he will put Agron there. Interesting decision. Um... Why don't we go ahead and set Mew here? My Verizian's in no danger of being surrounded at the moment. So, the only problem is that to get close to Agron, we are going to have to um, attack him. So, I'm trying to think of a way around it. I think that... Oh, he's going to go for an attack. And he's going to get the dodge. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and set Zapdos here. Just in case, guys. Just in case this doesn't work. But I am going to attack the Greninja. Um, I think that's a decent play. And we are going to knock out the Lucario. Dude, we are getting so many good rolls today. Um, do I want to double chance this? Just in case he hit... I don't know. Just in case. Let's just double chance it. Just in case, guys. Greninja's been known to uh, do some crazy things on my team and against me. So, we did get the stealth hit. Let's play her only and see if we can hit that Leaf Blade. Unless we hit the 30. Oh, man. So, that's what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Um, I was thinking about X attacking, but we have gotten a lot of good RNG right now, so I'm not going to fight it. He's going to go in for the kill on Joltik, which I did think that would happen if I got knocked out. And he will take the kill on Joltik. Now, this could become a very bad situation. I might have just messed up our luck here. Uh, Greninja doesn't beat Zapdos that many times, but I do have a purple move. I do have a 50 move, so it is possible if he double chanced. So let's just see what he is thinking. And he's going to Pokemon Switch with his Sceptile. A good decision, I suppose. And I think I'm actually going to X attack with my Terrakion to knock out this Sceptile because if I can knock out this Sceptile, that would be wonderful. This is a little risky, but there is a humongous chance of miss, and we got it. Okay, so Sceptile is out. Sceptile is out, so we can now push forward with Terrakion, and he's going to have to attack me with Zapdos. He forfeited. What? He forfeited. You could have won that, man. You could have attacked Verizian, knocked him out, but we will take the win, guys. So, Sceptile, definitely great addition. I'm glad I spent it. Let me know what you guys have spent your material on in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Shepard Speed, 